welcome back from Boston, USA. Hit the like. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Welcome back. This is On Chain Analysis. Mike here, uh, checking in with you from Boston, USA. So we've got uh, V Chain tonight is resting around eleven cents. Been ranging in this uh, uh, area now for the last couple of weeks. Um, we are setting lower lows and higher highs, which is uh, you know just great to see. At least we're being you know V Chain is holding steady in, in all of this volatility, but um, you know, some people are calling for a 40% break upward. Uh, that is if the bulls can push, push through. But as of right now, we've got some other analysts calling for further downside. And that is because there is some, uh, you know, uh, fear and uncertainty in the markets right now with uh, cryptocurrency um, as calls for stricter regulations grow. So the price of VeChain fell back on Thursday as regulatory concerns mounted ahead of the latest U.S. inflation figures. The price of the coin fell to around 11 cents, more than 9% from the point highest yesterday. Uh, other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ether have also reduced some of the gains uh, that they um, made on Wednesday. The prices of VeChain and other digital currencies fell back as investors continued to focus on regulations. Um, uh, so this is uh, after it um, emerged that uh, JGB uh, paid around $1 million to Russian hackers who compromised their systems last week. This became the largest ransom paid to hackers after Colonial Pipeline paid out $4 million last month. JGB, the largest meatpacking company in the United States, paid this ransom with Bitcoin. The voices calling for more regulations are getting louder. A few months ago, Janet Yellen, the current Secretary of the Treasury, said that the government should take more steps to reduce uh, cryptocurrencies. On, and on Wednesday, Senator Elizabeth Warren called on Congress and other regulators to toughen regulations. She said cryptocurrency has created opportunities to scam investors, help criminals, and make the climate crisis worse. The threats posted by cryptocurrencies show that Congress and federal regulators cannot continue to hide themselves in the hope that cryptocurrencies will disappear. It's time to tackle these issues head on. Just last month, the Wall Street Journal, Journal columnist argued that the government should ban cryptocurrencies to reduce ransomware. He argued that cryptocurrencies did not create value for anyone other than speculators. So, you know, this whole uh, ransom virus thing has been going on for a long time. I don't think that this is just new to cryptocurrency. So uh, I think this is just people, um, haters trying to hate, trying to find a new opportunity to bring down the blockchain, the decentralization movement. While VeChain has not been singled out, uh, banning or implementing further measures to regulate the industry would affect it. For one thing, cryptocurrencies are known for their close correlation. In other words, most altcoins fall when Bitcoin declines and vice versa. Inflation data ahead. Looking ahead, VeChain price will react to the latest U.S. inflation data coming out of during the U.S. session. Analysts, analysts expect the data to show that the headline CPI rose from 4.2% 4, 4 in April to 4.7% in May. Similarly, the core CPI is expected to have ri risen from 2.3% in March to 3.2% in May. These are important numbers as they have an impact on interest rates. Ideally, if inflation is substantially higher than estimates, it means that the Federal Reserve could adjust faster than expected. In particular, these numbers will, con will come at the same time as the initial jobless claim numbers. So, the daily chart chart shows that VeChain price it has been in a tight range in recent weeks. The price is below 14 cents, which was the cl uh, cleavage of the double top pattern that occurred just a few months ago. It has also moved below the 50 day moving average and was supported by the 200 day um, EMA. 
Also, the coin appears to be forming a bearish flag pattern. Therefore, there is a a possibility that it will descend in the next sessions. So VeChain, I just wanted to, you know, remind all of the VFAM out there who might be getting shook out of their assets that VeChain has, a lot, uh, you know, very strong fundamentals. And I just continue to remind myself of the reason why I, you know, invested in VeChain in the first place. The market cap right now is around uh, $7 billion. Uh, we've got, you know, trading volume coming in at... Um, $879 million, which is substantially lower than what we've seen about a month ago, a month and a half ago. But it is strong considering the current market trends and the fear that's in the market. Uh, you know, just to, uh, the Chinese government has been in talks with VeChain recently uh, to help them roll out their uh, digital economy with the Chinese yen and their digital fiat getting ready to roll out over the next several months. And we could see a good, strong partnership between China and VeChain. So other things in the news uh, from Bear China to IVF applications, a summary of VeChain's medical use cases. Reform in the field of medicine has become a global priority following the impact of the global pandemic. Currently, we see a concerted effort by the by governments to accelerate innovation and increase the pace of change in healthcare systems. The field of medicine is understandably critical for society, and so it has become one of the most stringent compliance measures of any field. As such, innovative products and services able to comply with regulation and uh, that have the power to drastically enhance people's lives and unlock new capabilities for global healthcare systems, unlocking efficiency, creating oversight, and reducing costs. Undoubtedly, blockchain technology holds huge potential. So VeChain is at the forefront of many of the new systems being developed in the medical field, uh, and not just in China, but with major enterprises around the world. Uh, let's see, let's check out and see what this article is kind of pointing out here. We believe that VeChain will come to be recognized as a key technological innovator in the field of medicine and beyond. With the ongoing pandemic putting healthcare systems under strain worldwide, VeChain collaborated with uh, I, uh, one da uh, Dante to co-develop the EHCERT app, which provides an archival solution for COVID-19 uh, and antibody tests records. From June to August 2020, Larnaca International Airport in Cyprus adopted the EHCERT app as a digital tool in the passenger check-in process with more than 8,000 passengers using the app. VeChain toolchain platform helped Bear China launch uh, C-Secure, a traceability platform for clinical supply trial supply chains, which continuously captures and tracks clinical trial supply chain data. C-Secure is d designed to improve transparency and security in the Bayer clinical trial supply chain. Uh, just on uh, uh, June tw uh, 7, let's see here, uh, 2020, 617, MyCare, the infectious infection risk resolution system built for anti-infection control. Built on VeChain Thor, MyCare provides a comprehensive framework based on DNV's hospital standards imparting industry best practices and facilitating risk management competence. So um, this Viking line became the first shipping company in the world to be verified. This verification, which covers all seven Viking line vessels and operations in six tournaments, uh, affirms the company's capability to manage and prevent infection risks, including uh, with COVID-19. Uh, color line in my care one of Europe's largest ferry companies. Uh, so it looks like the declaration, um, color line, one of Europe's largest ferry companies announced that it received a declaration of conformity for infection control management with DNV based on my care standards. The declaration covers the company's management system, including its six gram cargo ships operating between Norway, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, and corresponding terminals. Uh, DeGecko and MyCare. So MyCare seems to be doing a lot of stuff around the world with Renji Hospital. Um, 
Farah, San Martino, and Ortono, uh, the olive oil mills, and the business centered in Pescara. Pescara. So looks like VeChain is getting a lot of worldwide adoption, global adoption on this EH Cert app uh, with many different um, uh, countries and enterprises utilizing this for their uh, tracking system. So very, very uh, interesting stuff here. And, you know, so I just wanted to point out that the fundamentals of VeChain, you know, I just continue to remind myself why. I'm invested in VeChain and, and long-term uh, growth potential here. Uh, the markets are in extreme volatility right now. You know, I think the government is looking to uh, create regulations, but let's remember uh, blockchain technology is also one of the leading um, technological innovations of the future. Uh, the United States will not be left behind. I truly believe that. And uh, so we will see worldwide adoption of blockchain technology. And, uh, you know, they're going to, you know, try to pass some laws, which, you know, regulation is needed in the market to protect people. And I think there really is no reason to continue to, um, you know, be fearful. And, you know, blockchain technology is not going anywhere. They cannot stop Bitcoin or other altcoins. So the, the whole purpose of decentralization is to, you know, continue to give uh, people the power back in their hands. And, um, you know, I think as we continue to see greater and greater adoption, we're going to see more and more stability in the markets. But right now, as we're like in the beginning of this technological uh, revolution, I think, you know, we're going to go through periods of, uh, you know, downside risk. And, you know, I think uh, just can't invest more than we afford, can afford to lose. Uh, this is obviously not financial advice, but you know I'm a big V chain fan and believe that it is going to continue to rise in price and gain momentum over the next couple of months. Uh, so uh, definitely, some you know looks like the trend might be changing. This is obviously the daily chart. If this uh, next candle here for today uh, continues to print red, uh, we might see further downside. Uh, but it is possible that, you know, that this will be just, uh, you know, a few weeks of, uh, you know, ranging activity before the next leg up. Uh, we, you know, the, the markets are just so unpredictable. And this is not just specific to VeChain. Uh, we're seeing this across the board. Uh, Bitcoin right now uh, looking a little bit less uh, strong than VeChain <clears throat> with a little bit of a downward pattern. Um, but again, I think we're just moving sideways. Uh, I think the bot local bottom here was the final bottom. And I hope, you know, hopefully this, um, uh, Wyckoff, uh, accumulation or, or you know, uh, can, you know, uh, hopefully see, see some brighter days in the next coming days or weeks. So, uh, Sunny Lou looking pretty hopeful the p uh poa 2.0 related alpha block technical paper by her v research team and university of oxford was accepted and pu published by the acm acm is the world's largest educational and scientific computing society focused on leading uh edge publications so vchain is um working with uh, v, you know Oxford to publish research papers on blockchain technology. Uh, so hopefully later this year, we are going to see the release of the uh, Proof of Authority 2.0 coming out. So lots of uh, great things coming up in the future for VeChain. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Twitter. Uh, Sunny Lou posted that just... Uh, uh, yesterday. So Coin Telegraph, the My Baby application, securely tracks all information associated with IVF. So uh, this was VeChain's re re uh, most recent uh, partnership with uh, My Baby, uh, tracking all of the IVF uh, stuff on for Renji Hospital. So that's about it. That's all I got for you guys today. I just wanted to check in and. Uh, take a quick look at the markets. I think if we look at the higher time frames, you know, we are seeing a little bit of uh, this is looking pretty good to me.
And, um, you know, even though we are seeing short term volatility, I do believe that the next leg up will continue to uh, pull this forward. So, you know, it looks like we, you know, people were calling for the end of the market and in and around September. But um, I do believe that, you know, since we are getting some retracement and uh, accumulation, we might go into 2022 with this bull market. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we will, we may get another bounce down here. If, uh, if not, we may continue to range for a little bit to, you know, sideways for a little while, but we will see price targets, um, uh, coming in, from, you know, for Bitcoin and for the rest of the market. So right now the price target for V chain over the course of the next, uh, month or two, you know, in the long term, I would say. Uh, we could range between 38 and a dollar, uh, probably like around 90 cents, 38 to 90 cents, somewhere between uh, now and July of next year. Um, you know, we've been moving in this channel for quite some time. Um, let's see here if we can show this pattern and how much we've come up. But we've been moving in this in this channel here for quite some time. And, uh, you know, even if we do break this channel, I do not think that, um, I do not think we are going to, um, you know, if we see some wicks below it, I, I don't think we're going to, you know, move too far from this channel. We've been moving in this channel for quite a while. Uh, obviously like if we enter into a bear market, that might be a different story, but, um, and, you know, if we can follow this on the lower time, you know, in the lower range, we can see, you know, somewhere around 90 cents in uh, February. So, you know, on the, on the upper range, we could see somewhere closer to a dollar, uh, somewhere around July, August, August 2nd on the high range. So, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty confident that we're just going to continue to range in this area. Obviously the low is low, you know, the low right now is down around, you know, 10 cents. Uh, but you know, as we continue to pass through time, uh, these assets are increasing value. So we can probably expect to see, you know, a range somewhere at the end of the summer, somewhere down with the lowest low, probably hope coming in around 20 cents. So I think there is a lot to be hopeful for. I think VeChain has got the, you know, one of the strongest fundamentals and uh, business use cases out there in the market. So, you know, uh, I just continue to remind myself and don't allow myself to get uh, shaken out too easily. Um, if VeChain goes into a bear, a bear market and, uh, you know, I have to hold my assets until, you know, the next bull market and so be it. But I don't, do not think that we, that a book bear market is imminent. Uh, I think the U S government, uh, will propose a bill that will look to be passed sometime in the fall. Uh, so even though this is immediate fear and uncertainty, I do not think that we're going to see anything major over the next couple of months. Hit, hit a like for me and, uh, help the algorithm out. That would be, uh, much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good night.
Welcome back from Boston, USA. Hit the like.